We're going to be doing a tour of the art loft, which is kind of my wood storage and Kara's painting studio. So as we go up, you'll notice our epoxy stairs. They are fabulous! It's so pretty. So we're doing this tour for people that couldn't make it to our open studio. We're doing a virtual tour. So you people watching this, you're virtual. You're not really there. They are too. Now you know. They're just on the other side of the screen. You don't know that. You're nuts. <laughs> so when you come into the art loft, focus. Yeah. Sorry, cats. It's usually wood storage for my projects, but since we have some downstairs. You don't have to show. This isn't always wood storage, this is kind of a photo area where we set up, you know, a backdrop and we can do some product shots or model shots or boudoir shots. <laughs> when have we ever done that? <laughs> like that. Yeah. back. <laughs> After today, you bet. So that's one half of the art loft. In the middle of the art loft, on the north side, we have more of a little library and drawing desk for Kara's planning for when she eventually takes over the world. You're nuts. And she's decorated with paintings and progress and finished paintings and studies. And lots of odds and ends because we didn't know where else to put them. Lots of photos. We have things. And on this side we have a little nook for a relaxing coffee. And it's another place to hang some of Kara's paintings, finished and unfinished. And for the chonky cat to show off his tummy tum. Oh, Nimbus. Nimbus, are you a good boy? I am the one. We have labels on everything just temporarily because that's for the art show, art crawl thing we're part mm -hmm. of this weekend. And we have more books and stuff because we have lots of books. We do things. And they so this, this side's more, well, some of it is educational, some of it is reading for fun. And Weird Al is, is educational. Star oh. Wars, comic books, educational. And we have a nice view of the house over here and the earth. And the big sky is where the sun usually is, but not so much in Wisconsin. studio is Kara's painting studio. So over here she has her three custom-made wall easels. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> and behind her big wall easels are two portable easels. So she has a total of five different easels. We just put those away because of clutter. And I can't ever make up my mind. And her painting palette is an old welding table. So it's kind of like a Two foot by three foot areas for care just to mix paint. It's never big enough. <laughs> and in the middle of her studio, she has three movable work tables. So if she needs more area to paint, she can put them together. If she needs to spread out some drawings or brushes or paints, because you can never have enough of them. And what's the one thing I don't want up here? Clock. A clock. Yes. Because I'm crazy. Oh, but. And over here is Kara's organization. Because I'm fussy. Because she needs to know where things are. So everything is organized from brushes to brushes, more brushes, to other things such as. Kitty cats. Kitty cats. Yes, it's true, Rich. To light bulbs. <laughs> well, stuff for photography, too. A little bit of metals. So this was a. A drawer that my school was going to throw away because it's obsolete. So we put wheels on it because everything in here is movable. Mm -hmm. 
and now it's all full of organized supplies. Things. Things. Like this. Oil pastels. No. Gooey. Oh, gooey. You didn't close it. You didn't close it. Yeah. And then this is of course where Van Gogh spends his time drinking and watching peace hamsters. And if you notice, Kara has never used this eraser because <laughs> she doesn't make mistakes. Yeah, right. I just didn't mm -hmm. want to wreck it because it's cool and I never saw it like that before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a story. Okay. So, so this, this was a box of crayons that's never been used. And I wanted to melt crayons for a certain woodworking project. And I asked her, can I have some crayons? She's like, oh, sure. And I'm like, can I have that new box? And she hesitated. And she's like, I don't even know the names of those crayons yet. So I couldn't use these crayons because she didn't know the name of them. That's because... Because we... they're a special edition. Like this one is shocking pink. Because when my mom's basement flooded, he started throwing out a bunch of stuff. Oh, that that's got, right. And he these, was going to throw these out. These were in the back of the truck when we backed up to the burn barrel to just burn anything that wasn't salvageable. And these were in there. And I asked him and he's like, I don't care. And I swiped oh, them. Look at this. These in the back. Four new colors. There's only three. You must have used one. My brother used crayons as a well, kid. Well, look, okay, this is how lazy. Look at this color, sea green. Ooh, and then this one, scarlet. That's okay. And then what are these? This is crayon number three. Ooh, original. And this is Kara's painting box. Yeah. So she has all of her paint prepped, ready to go in luscious, oily dumps. That's not creepy at all. Especially with your overlaying. Oh no! We're gonna lose viewers! The 30 that watch the channel. Chances are, it's our family. <laughs> I know my sister watches Well, speaking That's of family. A, yeah, that average looking girl. And then out here we have her little art deck. So if she wants to feel like she's painting outside, she can actually just go outside. She tapes... Gadget, watch a gadget. She tapes an actual Ooh. paintbrush to a yardstick and paints out here. I do not. Fudge, is it cold? It's it's all. It's like it's almost May. Winter. But this is a nice view out here. Play Vivaldi. And this is the art block down on top of our garage. And that's all.